So the reason why I will never wear wireless earbuds is because unfortunately the two buds don't connect to your phone at the same time. The phone connects to one, one connects to the other with your brain in between it and then it goes back to the phone in a, in a loop. So your brain is between two radiation emitting frequency devices. One of the reasons why I will not wear that is for that reason. Another one is because if you want to microchip the population, how do you do so? You have to condition them to first wear the technology. And then it's a lot more normal to think of, hmm, maybe just getting the technology put into me. Part of the transhuman agenda. They need people to want and get used to wearing the technology, which is the step before the, hey, let's make it even easier for you. Just get a chip. Just literally microchip yourself. Pay for it. People in Sweden, there's already office buildings of people who check in, who clock into their job with a microchip, grain and rice size microchip in their hand. China's doing stuff like that. This is the plan for the rest of the world. They want us all connected to artificial intelligence, a massive computer. You notice how many movies? You got iRobot. You got Terminator. How many movies are about artificial intelligence becoming too evil, too sinister, too controlling, and then it controls every aspect of your life? Wearable technology is part of the agenda. Make no mistake. It's not for your convenience. It is not for your convenience. It's to normalize the connection with us to artificial intelligence. We have a smart Wi-Fi LED. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our honor, our praises, our glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Sai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders that rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akim around the world, preaching and teaching this word and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the hope for the lit. All right. Um, as you see in that video I just played, all right, you had that man on there, all right, um, going in, how Esau wants to use this um this technology to get you used to uh, uh things being done easily, okay, to things being done fast and uh, uh, Wi-Fi this and all that, but really they're just gearing you up to uh, put that damn mark of the beast in you, man. All right, the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast according to the scriptures. All right, so uh, <clears throat> that's a beautiful thing to know these things, man. All right, and when we hear other people speaking about them, we uh. Hey, we, uh, you know, get us hyped up, all right? Because this is something that through the power and spirit of how about Shemi Asai, we know that Esau Edom is coming with. We know why, all right? We know that they are uh, want to start their NWO, all right? We know Esau Edom want trying to get his birthright back, all right? So uh, that was just an edifying video to, uh, to do speaking. Don't know if he's an Israelite or not, okay? So, you know, but it's Ephesians 6 and 11. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All right. And this AI, this artificial intelligence is a wile, all right, of the devil. Okay. They come with these snares and traps and they're going to keep coming with them until they uh, implement this, uh, this MOB. Okay. This is Ezekiel 28 and 3. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Yeah, these Edomites have become wiser than Daniel, man. All right? They got the uh, uh, the um, technology to create different things for the masses of the people, man, that they would uh, eat up, man. All right? The um, two-thirds of the people, of uh, two-thirds of our people, Okay, and the rest of the uh, other nations are going to eat up this AI, man. Eat up these various things that Esau Edom comes out with and try to try to say it's to make your life easier, man. No, it's the, uh, destroying you, all right? But yeah, Esau Edom, a hey, wiser than Daniel, and got those wiles all set up. They know how to uh, play on the people, man. They know to give people things to make them used to things being easily easy, then they're going to bring out that RFID microchip, and they're going to say, hey, just try this. This is faster than anything we ever came up with. All right? This is Sirach 12 and 10. Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. All right, so we're not going to trust Esau either, man. Of course, we're going to use the word, but not abuse it, but we're not going to get so wrapped up in this technology that it becomes our God. All right, we know Esau Edom is using this technology as a weapon. All right, to ultimately get everybody ready, all right, to get the uh, on the RFID microchip. All right, but the men of the Lord, the the elect, are not going to get it. All right. And like I said, I don't know if that man is an Edomite or not, okay? So um, I'm going to bring this out just in case he is, but we I, we wouldn't know. 
Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. All right. So if that man is an Edomite and he making his tongue fall upon his fellow Edomites. But if he not, hey, you know, he might come into the faith or he might not, you know. But I was just bringing that out. That was, um, you know, edifying information that the guy brought out. So I don't want to watch this This lesson was edifying. And, you know, brothers get the gist that I'm trying to point out how Esau Edom is going to use this technology to usher in the MOB. All right. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Shalom.